okay. Um, <laughs> but we're going to go again. We've got unfinished business, so it's just the one and done. <laughs> just don't kill me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have written it. You couldn't have written it. We may never see that car again. <laughs> got a red flag already. That's got to be a record. <laughs> this is the fun please here. I'm afraid we can't have that chance. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, that was not good. That was good. That was... <laughs> what does he think? What does the marshal Same vibe. So you've ordered one of these and it's 2024. 24. Wow. Yeah. Waiting lists the again. Their waiting the lists are going mad, aren't they? Whole thing. Titanium case, so dress watch. Titanium case. And that whole sporty vibe versus dress watch vibe is, is really interesting. Swiss. Uh, they are Swiss, yeah. And funny enough, he actually got came third in Le Mans. Mr. Laurent Ferry himself, the guy yeah. behind the brand. He raced in Le Mans, came third. We should um, go speak to this guy. He Sounds doesn't great. Speak, he, he speaks English, but refuses to speak English. So when you so meet this him at the, the equivalent of Horatio show, Pagani, right? So he, he yeah. fluent English, but will only speak in French. Only speaks <laughs> in French, and that's handled. And he looks every part of the watchmaker. So we makes should meet him. Amazing. I mean, to be fair, we've got the Le Mans um, watch. Have you? We've got the uh, Grand Sport Tourbillon in stock. So we need to bring that along because actually yeah, that's a really sure. nice watch that's linked to. Um, Maybe we should do a road trip to Le Mans. Sounds good. There you go. <laughs> Any excuse. Right. Speaking of track, so we finally pulled the guys from Zoops out of the watch world. We're going to bring them into our world. So, so the idea is because our circuit here is quite tight, it's quite short. This calf to me is mapped for this place. Who's first? Cool. <laughs> Joe Boy, no, 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 no. You're the man. You're the man. You're the man. <laughs> no, 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 no. You do a warm up lap. I think that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do any work here. Well, this That's is what apparently I'm this say. is work. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, work. Gemma, Gemma sent me the itinerary for yeah. today, yeah. and I went, I went, Gemma, this isn't work. Don't show this to Andy in finance. I was like, this is not work. Okay. Well, we're going to put a lot of effort into this. Okay, yeah. we take it very seriously here. Top points. <laughs> it sounds awesome. It, you, you won't believe it. That this is a three-cylinder engine. I sh probably should have told you that afterwards because it. I mean, you just wouldn't think it but um, this car is a funny one because it was originally designed to be a world rally championship car yeah. whereas every other brand went will adapt one of our existing road cars right. so this was genuinely built as a rally car from day one and then they changed the rules and it was scrapped right so Toyota ended up having to sell 30,000 race cars that didn't race yeah so from its chassis and its drivetrain and everything, it was a rally car first. Right. That's why it's kind of a special thing because they've not done that since like the 80s. Yeah, cool. Hi, Katie. Just gonna make we'll get content now. <laughs> um, I'm on the I'm literally going around the track with James on the phone and uh, it's scaring the out of me. <laughs> oh my God. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a that was a screech. <laughs> that was quite a few screeches. We've got a red flag already. We've got a red. We've got a. That's got to be a record. Cool, this is the fun place here. I'm afraid we can't have that, James. <laughs> um, so is that, that is that is, classed as squeaking that slap, tires? That slap wrist. That is classed as squeaking oh, tires. Okay, well, Sorry about. We're going to have to keep the driving we're have cleaner. We're going to keep it clean. We have to keep it really clean. <laughs> Thank you much, Lee. <laughs> It's great around here. Like it's really suited to it because the track's so short and it just uh, loves it, you know? I mean, in the past here, imagine we filmed a Koenigsegg here with 1700 horsepower. It, it doesn't even get Jesus, it started, even, yeah. right? So this is brilliant. It's really hard to not make these tires squeal, so all of a sudden we have to go a lot slower, which is a bit shame, but anyway, it's fine. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, 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 this is not right. This is not 
right. Bloody hell. For a small car, it's not bad, huh? It's unbelievable. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you rolled this before? <laughs> it's such a cool little thing, isn't it? <laughs> oh god, it's just pure, it's pure mayhem. <laughs> oh god, it's such a cool thing. Oh man. Wow, 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 wow. Bloody hell. Cylinder engine. <laughs> it's, dizzy. it's still chilling. It's dizzy, just dizzy, a little bit dizzy. <laughs> do you want to go in or do you want first? Jo Joey's not driven yet. No, no he needs to drive. Yet. No, he needs to drive first. Yeah, yeah he needs to drive. Dude, that's the challenge. The fastest lap without squealing the tires. That's got to go. be it, right? <laughs> There's some motorbikes with more power than this thing. It's crazy. I mean, it's, it's good fun though. It is a little go kart. It is, it's well. wicked, yeah. <laughs> Down a B road, this thing is unbelievable. Right, thing. I'm not squealing. You're not squealing, so you've technically got more points than I have. <laughs> yeah, but you've got a race license, so you have to squeal, otherwise you lose all credibility. One more, right, so stay as wide as you, you can here. Yeah. Super wide, wide, yeah. wide, and now in. Okay, there you go. No brake. And brake, you can get like a straight line. Okay. And then you clip in that curve there. Okay. Okay, and then it's almost straight here. Straight straight straight, 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 yeah, straight, straight almost turn. up to the grass. Okay. And, and try and brake in a straight line. Even on long, that long sweeping corner, you can break through it. Yeah. Here out, left, um, left, left. Yeah, yeah, almost cut that grass. Yeah. And then you're kind of going up towards that grass there. Yeah. And then in across here. Okay, And tight. then clip that curb, run out wide, yeah. and then immediately back over there and break. Yeah, and in. There you go. Yeah, yeah, Got it. <laughs> Justin's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome though, what a little pocket rocket. It's good it's fun, like, isn't it? I, I mean, you could have a lot of fun in this. Oh, I don't mate, think I'd honestly, leave the track honestly, all day. It's just a brilliant car. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. I mean, that thing is, that thing's insane. For a little Yaris. No <laughs> rush, man. How do we, um, we can't flip it, can we? We can't flip it. I mean, we could flip it, but you'd be, you'd be exceptionally good if you did. <laughs> okay, so, break it in, that's it. There you go. Oh god! Oh, they got him! Break, 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 break. Oh god, we're going around there. Break, break, break. Oh! Hold on! Hold on. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, I did. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> so good! Sorry. What, he... what happened? That was a nice little spin from Justin. It's quite elegant, wasn't it? That was quite it? elegant. Was like slow like, motion. Uh oh, he's in trouble. No, no, he's he's in trouble. <laughs> not my mushroom patch. <laughs> oh, he's out. They swapped, so that means there's a problem. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. It's kind of panting there. It's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Wow. Sorry, I didn't realize no, how tight that was. That was back. exceptional. We needed to come round that a bit was tighter. Sorry. Exceptional. <laughs> Did you see the mud splash? Did you see the mud flip? <laughs> that was Is that funny. a red flag? Are, we... <laughs> Are we red? Are we red flag? I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's a red flag. It's not a red flag that, no. <laughs> Well, we just didn't see the corner there and it came up and it, I was being told to break, we didn't break and put that in. It just then but then we started sliding and I couldn't stop the slide. No, you've been on my mushroom. I thought it out now. So God. Bring, guys, bring some fresh got, seeds. I mean, that, that That's abominable. Was, was a, a top mark for squealing. That, that was a top mark. I like That's working it now. here. No <laughs> more squeals. Yeah, yeah, full up. Flat out. I went nice and slow. No, 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 I just thought... You just <laughs> 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 squealed yeah, on the first corner. Like, send. That's what I said. Can you we flip it? Can we flip it? The first thing he says to me, we get in and he goes, seriously, can we flip this? <laughs> and I said, you'd have to be exceptionally good. I honestly to flip thought this when we started sliding like really this bad. off onto the grass, I honestly thought if we clip the edge there, I genuinely. Uh, oh, my, so it was planned. No, I, I thought we were done. Plan. I thought we were done. And I thought we were rolling. We're roll. He's like, it's done. Oh, <sighs> sorry, I'm, I'm struggling there. Are we. So one and done. One half and done. Half and done. Half and done. Half and done. <laughs> uh, technically, Joe wins because, because I got red flagged for too much squealing. You were. 
you were the teacher's pet, and you didn't finish a lap. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have your balls just you know to literally. I mean, I knew, you know I knew as soon as you hit that first corner, and I heard a squeal. I was like, "Don't, he's gone for it." And James must be like, "Wow, he's like." So, I've realised now what happened is, as you started turning up there, I realised when you were saying break, 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 then I realised I'm running out of runway, running out of runway, running, and now we're on the grass. Now we're on the grass, and now we're, the grass, and now we're sliding. <laughs> but this is an encapsulation of my life generally. All guns blazing. No, um, it was a hell of an experience. Yeah, yeah, no, experience. That, was, that was fantastic, mate. Well done, well done, well done. 101 on, 101 on watches, James. Yeah. Between, uh, cool. between 10 and two, yeah. you really shouldn't adjust the date. On a watch, yeah, that's, that's, right. that's the advice. It starts to engage in the movement, so obviously, it's, if it's already started to engage, okay, you can cool. just it yeah. increases the wear on the movement potentially. Right. So you've got to be a bit careful. So basically, you want to be down in these this section here. So yeah. now we're, we're in the safe zone okay. here now. Yeah. And then if you push back in and yeah. you can go again on on your day there, which you were doing. So there you go. Yeah, you can crack on. Learn something every day, huh? This <laughs> <laughs> is cool. <laughs> I should stick to cars, hey. <laughs> We've never done a timed lap here. We're about to. <laughs> and I, and I'm, I'm putting this out there provocatively to the watch world. I mean, yeah. how many people own a double chronograph and use it for any kind of timing <laughs> whatsoever? Flying lap. So I'm gonna go out, and as I cross that line, hit it. Oh God, what, what am I doing? Why am I in this car? Why, <laughs> Why am I in this car? When I, when I return to the same spot. two laps so this has a this watch has a doppel chronograph in it which means you can do split timing with it so it has a, it has another second that sweeping second hand underneath that one so when we when we hit it again it'll stop the first one and start the second one. Oh my god he's almost off <laughs> a watch that probably never gets practical use into practical use. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> They're gonna have to do it again. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. I hit the wrong button! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it! No, oh, no, 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 That's been great. That has been really, really cool. The one thing I said to Justin, and this is the thing when you live with something, yeah. the watch is awesome, the strap undoes, like it like flips out all the time. And I'm like, there's gotta be a clip or something here. So this is, so this is, a, this is a, a big thing with customers choosing between a tang buckle mm. and a deployment buckle. Mm. And actually, they look cool. They look great. NATO straps look awesome, but you can't get it on a deployment buckle. Put them in here, and then we're going to fold it through here. That's all, all cool. And then you tuck it in, and you think you're set for the day. And then five minutes later, that that's and it's and it's like that. Yeah. But up until that point, of the three we've had this last week, the Tag Monaco, the IWC, and this on the wrist, this has been great. 
Yeah. The strap on that is, what I want to do is put that strap on this on watch. That watch. <laughs> on that watch. Yeah. This strap is, is really interesting because it's rubber with a fabric inlay. Perfect the, the, the blend. I don't see it have really pioneered, but it does come on a deploying strap as well. So it's got a tang buckle now, but it also right. does come on it. And that combination yeah. is mega. It's yeah. really nice. It's really nice. Yeah. An AP with something like that on. Fabric rubber blend would mm. be super cool. And quick change, that's the new big thing is okay, cool. we, we've seen a lot of a lot yes. of um, quick change straps. So yeah. you can change the look instantly. I mean, that would appeal to me. The reason I don't change my strap is just a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Ass, you know yeah. what I mean? It's uh, when you've got the tool and, to you're, and you're playing around snap. trying to get it out, and yeah. it, you yeah. end up yeah. scratching, scratching the case, the case or I mean, the lugs. No one likes Hublot. I don't know why, but no one likes Hublot. <laughs> and, and but the straps are great. Mm -hmm. They just clip in and out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I like that. Am mm -hmm. I talking like I've got something from Toys R Us there, or is that like a bad thing? Because <laughs> I just think the interchangeable solution is yeah, really nice. So, I mean, I, straps are a massive thing in our industry at the moment. Yeah. I mean, there's like it's a really nice way of being able to personalise your watch. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I've, I've I actually end up having five or six different straps for my watches that I end yeah. up sort of keeping and totally. changing. And yeah, yeah, you you can pair it with an outfit, or you yeah. can yeah. Well, exactly. Them. Like this. This watch for me goes with all sorts of different looks, like no yeah. matter what you dress, but you could really match it with a different strap. Like sometimes that's a bit cash, yeah. you know, mm. but the dial on it makes you want to wear it yeah. with a suit sometimes, mm -hmm. right? So you're like, oh, if I could just quick change that, yeah. it'd be nice. Oh, yeah. So the Grey NATO, it's sort of like an iconic thing in, in the watch world, the, the, the Grey NATO, like it's, yeah. it's a military inspired thing. Yeah. It was actually issued to um, from the Ministry of Defence when you got a watch, um, yeah as part of your toolkit, you would get a, a gray, uh, it wasn't right. called a NATO strap, but a gray strap just like that. So that's the history right. of it. But no, you're right, you, you want versatility and something that's gonna last a long time. That's a quick change, yeah. there you go. That's, that's an it. example okay. of, so, so you, some brands do this now, and lots of aftermarket straps do it, where you, you have this little pin here. Yeah, and ah, obviously normally the pin's hidden behind yes. the strap, but it's got a little hole with a little, essentially a lever. You pull it back and you can take the strap off. Brilliant. So at the moment, the winner out of the ones you've had? Mm. The winners out of the one I've had is the Speedy Tuesday. Mm. That has been brilliant. Um, criticism, strap. Uh, best strap on the IWC. Yeah. I was saying someone commented on the channel. They were like, I've got one of these. I love it. Don't you find it a, a bit big? Yeah. I and I do, but the 44 mil AP, which I will wear often, is like a breeze block mm. on my wrist. Mm. So when I put on something like that, which is actually the same size, mm. it felt like a much easier wear. It's like half the weight of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. This strap on that watch or something similar would be awesome. Yeah, so I'm anyone thinking. joining this now, the idea has been that Zoops are lending me watches for weeks at a time. And uh, I'm effectively living with these things. And for me, it's really top line experiential matter of fact real world stuff i'm like like the strap on this one don't like it on this one this one feels heavy yeah. but we try and make some nice content the audience feedback's been fascinating because i'm amazed at how many people out there own these things right mm -hmm. so they're like oh I've, I've had this iwc for three years etc etc that one for me over the last i think we've worn six now yeah. something like that the daytona we took to dubai it felt consciously cliche yeah mm -hmm. do you know what i mean like the Daytona has almost become too famous. I don't know, it's like um, you've bought a Ferrari because it's got the badge on it sort of thing. This to me, as a conversation piece, was a very different chat with people who brought it up. Mm. You know, mm. most people would talk about the Daytona as a gesture that they've wanted to tell me that they've acknowledged that it's a Daytona. Mm -hmm. This was a much more, how are you finding it? You know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. why did you go for that one? And then I ended up explaining, well, I didn't. It was a <laughs> Zoops watch, etc., etc. And uh, it's been fascinating just having the opportunity to try on so many different things. Yeah, it's funny, um, it's funny you, you commented on the strap there because we've just seen the watch world go into meltdown with the Swatch Moon Watch, you got the one. Moon Swatch, which you is that one, is yeah. that shape, yeah, and, yeah. and the strap is not good, but the case is incredible. Case is really so good, right? let's yeah. go, let's go one more time, one oh, more time, one more time, just to see if we can recapture. Should I, Joe and I go. I'm all yeah. right. Joe, 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 come on, come on, come. On. No, Joe, come on, last one, you and I. Let me just get my phone out. I'm not just calling last break, break, break last on this. <laughs> come, 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 come. Right, Justin. last one. Oh, oh I am oh, nervous God. now. No, no, Joe, come on, come on. Look at James, James, you, you have ditched me. <laughs> just one lap, one lap. Don't, don't you kill me. Oh,